안녕하세요. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of my channel. And today we are going spring hunting. Okay, so basically it's full bloom in Korea right now, and I really wanted to show you where are the spots you can visit for spring. Of course, as you have seen it from the title, not the popular spots, but the you might or might not be able to use these spots for this year, but I assure you, every year, the spots are changing. There are cherry blossoms everywhere. This time around, I want to show you um, the different kinds of flowers that blooms for spring. Not just the cherry blossom, but if there is others, I would, would love to show you because I don't know, I just feel like there are a lot of pretty photos taken in Korea. It's just People always just go to the basic places and I've already filmed a, a few of it and I will still film some of it. But today, I just wanted to bring you guys to the spots that only locals visit, okay? So, without further ado, let's get ready and let's go! Because it's spring, I wanted to show you a little bit of the products that I've been loving this spring because the season is a bit lightening up ready. Normal winter skincare only for a bit of a cooling weather. First and foremost, this gel cleanser from Mary and May. Hyaluronic acid gel cleanser, perfect for warm weather. So let's get into it. It's pink. Pink your time. First and foremost, if you have watched my Instagram, I have been talking about this. Tea Tree Vitamin Boosting Toner from Bertie. <laughs> it's so pretty and pink. So it's a very rare like toner that I like because the weather is getting a little bit hot and I don't want to use too heavy stuff. That's the reason why I use this. Just a light layer over the face. And because it's tea tree, it really helps to keep the bumps at bay. If you have sensitive skin, this is very, very light as well. Isn't my skin looking good? It's very fresh. Even though, honestly, if you can hear from my voice, I've been a little bit sick for the past week. And my husband went for um, a business trip, so... I'm not feeling the best, but he's back and I'm hoping to, you know, recover soon. I hope. <laughs> How pinky is this? It's so super pretty. Look at it. So this one is from Face Republic, the Blooming Serum. It's a very, very new serum and it's rose, guys. It's rose. So anything rose, take my money. I love that the, the consistency is a little bit, like it looks thick, but it's not. It's very, very light. It's very light. It's like a gel. Formula and what I really like about it is because you know winter is a little bit more dry. So if you're an Asian living in Korea, you would have like understand me that sometimes the milk cleanser is a little bit too much. But this is a lot better, and it gets absorbed very fast, very well. So if you can see. So after the serum, straight away we go to the cream. Another. Okay, this one is from Skin Tonta, Skin 1004, the Poromizing Cream. Once again, gel. So it's very, very light, suitable for Singaporeans or anyone living in humid weather. Two drops. Yep, that's it. And smooth it up. I don't know if I slept, is it because I slept well? My skin is literally glowing. I'm not sure if you can see from the camera, but... This is the very, very simple three-step unit for spring, okay? I understand that there is no spring in Singapore, but... Who cares? It's pink! I understand there is no spring in Singapore, but... I wish so much that you guys can be here with me now to see the spring flowers but because some of you might not be able to make it this year, that's why I'm bringing you there. So last but not least, ah! this is sunscreen from um, Skin Food. It's the Berry Sun Cream. And it's so cute. Look at the packaging. They're so smart. Like I feel like brands nowadays are really trying to go green in the sense that they will try to use like biodegradable um, materials. At the same time, they don't want you to like waste the material. So 
they don't want you to waste the ingredients, make your money's worth, okay? Skin food so freaking smart. So after you're almost done, you can just tear at this uh, portion and then you can like wow, eat out, you know? This is Singaporean anyways. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know how many drops I use. No scent at all though, even though they say it's berry. Basically, berry has antioxidants uh, properties, so it helps um, slow down aging also. Yay, and we're done! Okay, so let's change to my OOTD. I'm so excited to show you its new clothes. We waited a bit for the sun to come out. I finally, it's not gloomy, it's out. So we're gonna see some spring flowers. Okay, so this is my outfit of the day. So it's a little bit warm now. That's the reason why you can wear a little bit revealing and then it's open like that. So yay, something simple and chic. Ready. Let's get some pictures taken. And he took really, really long to get ready. I was immediate. Do you know what does immediate means? Straight away. Uh, here we are at ooh, the place. The first place that I wanted to bring you to is called Chongdong Also Guam, right? So I would say that actually there's a lot of people here, but it's not as much as like your the where ah? the Chamsi one, the Hosu. Ah, yeah, there was really a lot of people right there. One. This is probably a spectacle that you will see when you are here at Insadong, which is a very very traditional street of Korea. But this is not my main thing today. Maybe I'll show you a little bit about the mall there so you can consider whether you want to come to Insadong. Now let's head over to that side. Library area. Let's go. He's a French fella. So guys, this is the famous Hamchongdong Street that everybody always comes to walk and take photos because it's like a mix of modern and um, traditional architecture. Right, do you have something to talk about this place? It already explained. <laughs> so here we are at Chongdong Tosogon. You just have to come up that street there, walk all the way up and go up. This place, there's not much people yet. I mean, there's already a lot of people of course, however. I would say that it's only a lot of locals that know this place. So you might want to head here the moment you see this. Let me show you why. A place where people always come to sort of have picnics but as you can see it's not as crowded as Hanggang yet. So you can come here, have a mat, sit down, have some meal and then this is a place where people always take videos and pictures of as well. The good thing about this place is um, I would say honestly honestly speaking there's not as much people yet because as you can see there's a lot of locals not many foreigners. A little bit more and see what they have at the library. But I think when they come it's gone already babe. That's true. Hopefully it's still here a little bit. Or next year. Ah uh, yes, of course, or next year. <laughs> wow. Oh, they provide the chairs for you, man. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so here is the library and um, I'm not very sure if you can go inside and borrow books but I see people reading so maybe you can. So it actually goes one round like this and it comes out but what's so special about this library is basically this whole place is filled with cherry blossom trees. That's the reason why there are so many people here. As you can see, bringing their like camera stands and taking like basically a photo shoot here. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to take a few photos and maybe like explore the area so you can know what to like half year or so.
a GKS that is called low, so that's why she watched my video. Which is not why I saw her, I was like, <laughs> like, so you like this on oh, no end day. Okay, anyway, let's go. So, by the way, this is the library. You can I read right. Zheng. Something, something. Something, Kwan. <laughs> okay, let's go in and take a look. Ooh, that's how you take picture. Smart. Are you? Wow. Oh, I didn't know there's space to take inside of the phone. Wow! I never knew, guys. I never knew. Now you know. Yeah. I said it coming only because we need to go to the toilet, but it seems like there's a lot more stuff than we thought. A lot of people are really reading the books inside. Proper humans sitting down there, <laughs> holding some papers, being. Here it is. It's actually really huge. I would think that. Um, maybe it used to be a school, like Noti said, it really feels like my school, so it's really nice. You can take really nice pictures inside the library as well, not only outside. So I think it's a very, very nice place to hang out, even if it's not spring, I think it will look really pretty. And I feel like this is a spot that not many local foreigners know about yet. Yes, you know about the outside in Sadong and some Chongdong, but maybe I'll talk more about it next time. However, this is one of the library that I feel like it's a must visit when you come to Korea. It's like a mix of modern and traditional culture, so... Nice. <coughs> oh no! This road, we're actually walking out, and the road here is actually somewhat better than that side. There's less people, and you can see that because it's exiting, a lot more of the like flowers is like canoping over you. So here is actually quite a good spot. Don't yeah. forget. Little bit less people. Everybody is there, and they're really so overwhelmed because there's so many flowers. They forget to come here. I think more than that. One another thing is because that's like right in front of the entrance. So the moment people exactly. come in, they will just stay there. Yeah, because it's already a lot anyway. Yep, true. Oh, but very very nice weather. Korea very very nice weather. This is where you should come to Korea. Okay, first week of April. Don't come any other weeks. But usually when we tell you, it will change again. So. That's true. It's a bit late this year. Yeah. Okay, so guys, we stopped by the Baskin Robbins. And maybe one quarter. Yay! The King Kong! I was like, what the hell is going on? It's a single king! This is so huge, man! It's so embarrassing, man. I can see the person's scope right like. A little drop. Yeah. My baby likes ice cream the most. I don't know why people like ice cream like this. Ah. We're gonna head to the next place. I'm not sure if it's gonna be closed yet, but we're gonna just try our best to get there. Mm. A boof, maybe. The second place that we have come to, this place actually is just right in front of our house. I've been talking Not about right it. in front lah, but nearby. Very, very near. Basically, your house is just at the back there. And um, this place is filled with cherry blossoms all the way down there. And as you can see, there is nobody compared to like the places that you always go. Just really like all the neighborhood people. And you can take really nice pictures here without having to queue. So this is the cherry blossom street. That is next to the Hongje Chon River, okay? Remember Hongje Chon? So if you walk down this river, you'll reach a park where all the other flowers of spring will be. So this park is actually um, behind something called Sodemun Kichong, which is like the office of Sodemun Gu. I wanted to bring you there because there's other flowers there. The good thing if you come here is there's a river here, right? And this river has also different kind of flowers, which is yellow. These are the yellow flowers cherry blossoms on top here and when you walk down that way and you go to the park there will be even more flowers different kind of flowers so let's head there and I'll show you what it is okay so this is where we have to go we have to climb up this slope climb up this slope to get to the Suk Suk Shim Ta the place we're going has a lot of flowers but not only cherry blossoms they have tulips as well I'm not very sure if we were able to catch it but there's a lot of people going out so let me get there and then film more here we are guys wow wow this is a lot eh this is the best man yeah wow guys this is by far one of the most quiet and like prettier spots with all the cherry blossoms like gathered at one place. It's and really it's pretty. 
Yeah. And it's free. Wow. And not many people know about it yet. <laughs> That's the main part. Oh, this is actually really, really good. Right? Yeah, Lovely. you can sit here, have a meal, <laughs> with people eating. There's tables provided also. <laughs> if you can get a seat. Yep. <laughs> it's normal. It's good. Eh? Yeah, it's really nice. So they moon kumin. Wow. Well, I guess they might have like a. So nice. Chute. It's like there's something going on. Wow, there's really a lot of poko here. Eh. I'm so shocked. Can't believe this is this actually is like, right by my yeah. house. This is a bit like similar like Sokchon also. Sokchon also by Jamshil Kuchong. Oh, so nice. Eh. I'm so shocked, guys. You definitely it's can. Really hidden gem, yeah. eh. You can get like a photo here without queuing oh. at all because there's too many spots already. Mm. Guys, we reached the tulip area. Ta -da! So here's the tulip field that is very popular here apparently and there is so many people trying to take photos of the tulips. And then on top of the tulips is cherry blossom. I feel like this is like buy one get one free. I'm gonna go in and see the tulips, yeah. Look at the amount of people taking photo, guys. But it's really nice. Wow, but the flower is really pretty. Full bloom. You must be careful. It's so nice. Yeah. Look at this, guys. It's just full of cherry blossoms. Wow, 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 wow. Just came down from basically the area which has a lot of flowers. Then when you come down, little did we know there is literally like a full festival going on here. There's gonna be a food event. There's a cafe. In front of this fountain to take a look. So there's really so so many things here and I'm so shocked. The most shocking thing is my house is literally like there. So let's take a look around and see what's there. another episode because there's so much food to eat here and downstairs wow they're playing disney medley indescribable feeling soaring tumbling freewheeling endless diamond sky wow Day, there is a home co spring concert wow. and that's the reason why um, everybody is here to watch but tomorrow there might not be a concert and maybe there will be time for me to come and eat so that's the reason why I'm not really <laughs> filming much food now because well the gist of today is about spring and the flowers so I just wanted to show you the flowers yeah hi guys it's day two of this video it's kind of abrupt but what I wanted to say is um Actually, I wanted to film three places yesterday, but when we went to the park, I realized like this park that I wanted to go to closes at 5. So, we decided to come again today, another day, and guess what? Can you see I'm alone? So, Nati has been queuing for parking for about 40 minutes because I was sleeping, and what we realized is he couldn't even get to go in. And then, once again, <laughs> we're running late with time, and it's 4. 30 so we decided that I'm just gonna go in and try to film what it is so you guys can just kind of get a glimpse of what it is like inside and what kind of flowers are there then maybe you guys can make it here by yourself I'm just walking towards this place this place um, is called Yongsan Kongwon Yongsan Park and it's kind of like a um, it used to be a like sort of house whereby the military is at and it's a very very new place that the Koreans recently only found to sort of take photos at and inside this Kongwon is actually um, magnolia flowers a little bit different so let me head inside and show you what's inside So this is it. Wow, there's really so many people inside. You can park here, but apparently you can't really come in. So as you can see, 
There are quite a few cherry blossoms tree here and people, like if you manage to come in, it's actually less of people so I recommend you to come by, um, train and just walk a little bit. <laughs> Let me show you the magnolia flowers. So, you guys see? There is one set of magnolia flowers here on the top. Yeah, can you see? Here they have a very very big white magnolia tree. Then let's go to the side, maybe there's more stuff. Even though it takes some effort to actually walk in here, not many people know about it. It looks a little bit like you're not in Korea, however, it's actually houses for American soldiers in the past. Then um, me and Naughty took our uh, photo shoot here recently. Then there's not many people yet that you can take a photo. You can come here, take a walk and you know, just enjoy the weather. Here, another magnolia tree. And you can take really nice photos here because I think there's not many people around. Secondly, there's a lot of trees and of course the background looks very different from Korea as well. There's lots of places to sit. Also, there's like a cafe nearby if I'm not wrong. However, please do note that entry is until 5pm, okay? As you can see, there's a lot of people here still taking photos with cherry blossom trees so this is still uh, a spring thing. Even the Koreans themselves know that it only lasts like really... Uh, it's very short-lived this season. Compared to your Sokcheon Hosu, your Hapjong Street, where else? Um, Byeongdong, Namsan Tower, definitely there is way less people here. And people are a lot more organized when you come to this area. So this is Yongsan Park for you. I do know of photographers who come here to sort of just get photos taken. So if you really want a recommendation, remember to leave a comment in the description box and maybe I can sort of recommend you. If not, head to my Instagram page. The photos that I posted that was in this area, which looks like this can um, find the photo and I already tagged the photographer in the picture, okay? You can come here and just take nice photo with the little you know, red bricks also. Feels a little bit like America. So coming to Korea, having both Korea and America. Why not, right? Back in the car already and Naughty just literally waited at the parking while we were done. I think only four or five cars. So out of all the places that we have been, three places, I feel like the most worthy one was the Yonhee place. Like, firstly, okay. yes, there's a lot of people but there's definitely a lot of people place that you can get your photo. And then there's gonna be like an event there. It's very nice. There's cafe and yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like more of this content, remember to leave it in the comment section down below. And hopefully this will be useful even if it's not for this year, for next year. See you again in the next video.